Um, hi. Um, do you have the number for a cab company? I don't know which one. I am a nerd and I also really love Clueless. So if you guys want to see this look, stay tuned and check out the next clip. <laughs> Alright, so first we're going to start off with the eyes. And I'm going to be using my Naked palette. So bring the first color virgin all over my eyes. Especially under the eyebrow. And now grabbing Naked. Just a light brown color. I'm going to put that all over the lid. And now we're going to grab some buck and go over that. And to blend that out a little, I'm going to grab on the same brush, I'm going to grab some virgin. Sort of blend that out. And now we are going to take some under the eyelid. Okay, now we're going to use this color Half Baked. And just put a little of that and a little gold to the eye. And I'm focusing this just on the eyelid, sort of the first inner half. Okay, now we're going to take a little dark horse, which is the darkest like, brown color. And right where your eyelid meets your eyelashes, we're just going to kind of smudge it, smudge it down. So it just looks a little bit more smoky. Okay, so... Now we are going to put fake eyelashes on. And I have these from China. Um, because they're not really heavy eyelashes. They're sort of light ones. So I'm using these sort of really small feathery ones. Well, we finally got those on. What an experience that was. So we're almost done with the eyes. We're just going to put some black eyeliner on. Line your inner eye with black eyeliner. <laughs> Alright, now let's add mascara. Alrighty, and now for the face. We are going to contour. And now for blush, we're going to use um, this color called Gingerly by MAC. Under the eyebrow bone, I have this white. It's from MAC. I've got this cherry lip pencil by MAC. Alright, and now for the lip color, I'm using Giorgio Armani color in 400 Rouge de Armani. Okay, I'm gonna go matte my face with powder and get it back. Alright, so I took my clips out. Now I put some powder on my face already, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of what I do. Like, um, after I kind of powder my face, I blend, I use this big brush, it's got a little foundation, and I sort of like blend my eyes. It's something I've always done. Um, I think one of the worst things like people have when they do makeup is that they don't blend um, their makeup well enough. Alright, so that is it for the makeup. Now, my hair, I think it was a dog. So, my hair is curly, Bear's hair is straight, so... For Halloween, I would I would probably straighten it, but I'm just gonna kind of get. Uh, I just kind of want to show you guys. Um, you can do your hair sort of like 90s style. So I have a can of hairspray, and now what I'm gonna do 
is her hair is kind of like it's not parted it's just sort of blown back so I am going to spray and sort of hold it and just rub my fingers through it we kind of just want to get all the hair to sort of stick back make sure you rub your fingers through it because hairspray has a tendency of getting really you like crispy. Okay, I'm gonna get dressed. Alright guys, so to complete this look, you're gonna need a skin tight red dress. And now for her keychain, what I did was I took a piece of sticker, like this is a white two-sided sticker. And I just wrote out on it share and covered it with this gold OPI nail polish that I got from the Skyfall collection years and years and years ago. I think it would look a lot better if you actually use gold glitter, but I don't have gold glitter. Okay, and you're also going to need a flip phone. <laughs> I have this flip phone. Uh, it's a track phone flip phone. And then you're also going to need a feather boa. Now, I found this feather boa on Etsy. It is. This one is the 100 gram. So, this is my Cher Horowitz costume from Clueless. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look. I hope you have an amazing Halloween. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! If you lie, you can even marry Harry. The mess around with the egg. But oh, it's